the new haircut tonight. I know, I know. Uh, I've got some questions. I've got some questions about what we should do with this motor. So tonight, that's what we're going to talk about. So we'll get the chat pulled up. So the topic at hand tonight is <clears throat> really what we should do with the project car, but at the same time, you know, what kind of build do you think that we should do for this car? And also, at the same time, what's your favorite type build? <clears throat> Let's say you only got one car, right? Let's say this is your car, you're building it. How would you prefer to build only one car? What's going on? Finally caught a live stream. What's up, everybody? Yeah, so tonight, like I said, we're just going to be talking about uh, the, the build that we have. So we have this engine over here, which is just a 68 non-roller 302. So should we build a street beast out of this thing or just kind of a daily driver? You know, what's your thoughts on this? Uh, what would you guys like to see? I'm still kind of undecided on it, if I'm being honest. What's the budget? Um, let's stay realistic. <clears throat> What's a good budget for, <clears throat> let me think here. Let me think. Um, I don't know. You guys give me a budget, like a, a realistic working man's budget, right? Or you can throw out some different options as well. Getting ready for summer. Yeah, guys, I used to always keep my hair shaved like this. And, uh, <clears throat> for about the past four years or so, I've been doing the other hairstyle. And tonight... I accidentally went a little too high in the back whenever I was trimming it up, and I was like, ah, screw it. We'll just cut it off. <clears throat> um, so Pineapple Studio says, hey, man, can you show me how to wire your AC, uh, how it's wired in the Calypso? I, my AC is not wired up in the Calypso at the moment. Um, I think they do have a plug-and-play kit for that now, though, but I don't, I don't have it yet. So, yeah, a daily street warrior, that's, that's an option as well. So you guys... Throw out, I'm going to ask your opinion, throw out some good build combos, uh, realistic now. I'm, I'm talking like, we're not saying, we'll, we'll say a set of like used, like AFR 185s maybe. You know, like that type of, of build combination is what I'm saying, like at the most. What is this? Oh, that is pretty. Did mommy make that? Why you have a snotty nose child? Check that out. Amy just made that for Camly. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's got stuff inside of it. That is really cool. All right, okay, baby. Y'all go play, okay? All right. So y'all throw me out some builds. Maybe twin turbo. <clears throat> yeah, man. The hair, the hair, yeah. Um 351 carved with a T5. Alright, so we're gonna let's stay, let's stay with the engine that we have here, which is just a 68 non-roller. 302. Um, <laughs> so James says that he was thinking I should go live tonight. He's on, he's on his way back from a road trip. Picking up some new shoes for the Fox. That's pretty cool, man. Um, twin turbo, nah. If I did a turbo, it'd be a single turbo just because it's easier. That's an option as well. You know, we could go um, stock heads. Basically like what Neo had did, you know. Stock heads, maybe like an on-three turbo or another supercharged car. But, like, what's some, what's some good build ideas? Fox Body IRS, I am not an IRS guy. I don't like those things. I chunk them every chance I get. I, I took the IRS out of uh, both of my Cobras that I had. No, 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 no. All right, so look, let me give you guys a budget real quick. Um, mm, this is hard. Man, budgets are hard. These are really hard to, to pick from. But let's say I've already got the engine like I do right now. I've got the car. I've got everything. Um, I've got those Canfield 192cc heads. So, guys, remember that. i got those. Uh, I've got a Trick Flow Stage 1 camshaft that we can use. Um, let's, let's say $3,000 with what I already have. Um, that, that would be a good set of used heads. We could go with a bigger cam. Um, Possibly, if you budget your money right, you could even do a, a you know a cast stroker kit. 
but somewhere around that that range anyway. Coyote swap, no. Uh, Ford OEM um, plus build GT forty X heads, F three hundred three cam, and a three fifty one. Yeah, the three fifty one would be cool, and we we have some talks about possibly doing a three fifty one. But let's just keep it 302 based tonight. What would you guys like want to see with this car for the channel? Um, I know stock cars don't really go over too well, but I want to be honest with you guys. Every once in a while, you know, I just want to wake up in the morning and just jump in my car and it be, you know, not rowdy, not uh, surprise me with anything, and just just kind of go to work because I, I leave for work at like five o'clock in the morning, so it's still dark. And that's a lot of the reason why I don't drive my other Fox bodies uh, in the morning to go to work. Budgets are the worst. Yeah, they are. Basic stuff uh, or maybe like a Root Supercharger. We actually had a Roots Supercharger. Trick Flow Cam, AFR Heads. All right. So Slater, welcome to the GT package, man. Congratulations on that. Glad to have you. Stay tuned for those uh, uh, early videos, by the way, because I will be posting those. Um, let's see. Who went in? I hear footsteps. Y'all watching behind me? I don't trust these kids. A 460 swap. No, no. We have an extra 460, but no. Nah. My dad would love that, though. He would love a 460. Okay, so Johnny Carter says all stock with a light cam. That was one of the options. So let me, let me throw out some options that I had so you guys can kind of uh, know where my mindset was with this with this build um, one of my options was basically uh, it's a 30 over 302 non-roller so we'll probably do the link bar lifters as bad as i hate to spend the money on them that will allow us to run whatever camshaft we want uh, as i showed you guys before in the other live i think um, you run into an issue with uh, regular base circle cams and stock lifters with a spider so i may do that so i'll go with link bar lifters and probably the Canfield 192 heads if we choose to go that route. Um, but more than likely, what I was going to do was just like a trick flow stage one camshaft with a set of stock heads. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, that's kind of what I was looking at. Jesus. So a Holly System Max Donnie B says with the uh, N412 power pipe. Well, Donnie B, speaking of which... Um, do you guys have any of those lifters in stock? Because I'm probably going to have to go ahead and, and get a set of those. Um, looks like I'm just going to have to have them, man. I think that's going to be the best route to go. So, a B cam, what intake? Um, hey, and damn your bald, yeah. Uh, like I said before, I used to always wear my, my hair like this. It's just easy. Um, and I kind of messed up with the clippers tonight. So, <laughs> this is what we got. As long as it's a nitrous build. Uh, you already got a turbo car and a supercharger car. So Doomsday says a nitrous build. I thought about that, but, uh, and don't get me wrong now. I like nitrous. I've had some nitrous cars before, but man, nitrous is so expensive right now. And I just, I'm the type guy, man. Like when I get in my car, I want the power right then and there. I don't want it to run out. You know what I mean? Like, oh crap. I left my bottle on or it's got a leak or whatever the case may be. I would love to do that. If nitrous was as readily available as it used to be, I, I would probably consider that. Um, and I'm not saying it's off the table, but probably not. I'll leave that one for Andrew. You have one set left, Donnie B. Well, put them to the side for me, bro, because I'm, I'm probably just going to have to go ahead and order these things. So if you don't mind, just kind of, and uh, I may, may give you a ring. Uh, what's today? Saturday? Maybe Monday. Cash crank 347 flat top pistons E303 and the can fields. Now, Charles, that sounds like a pretty cool little build. Um, air gap intake with a double pumper. That's pretty cool. That's along the lines of what we were talking about doing to start with. All right, so let me just ask this. A, a simple yes, no, maybe, or something like that. Would you guys like to see me uh, basically put this car back with a stock intake, stock heads, maybe a trick flow stage one camshaft? and just drive it every day as a nice, clean driver. Like, paint it all up, similar to what Foxcast did uh, recently in one of his videos. Would you guys be interested in that? I mean, it's a simple yes, no. I mean, I kinda, I can feel the room uh, 
just by reading your comments on that. I know that's not like a super popular combo, but man, we've got two other cars. Uh, I'm torn on it. All right, so we got a couple for yes. No. Where did the hair go? I shaved it off earlier. Uh, can't beat a nice daily driver. No. SN95 build coming soon. Oh, man, my wife would kill me if I brought another car home. But So Ray, Ray says yes. Nah, a drift car. Nah, yes. All motor warrior. Yes, all stock. Huh, okay. So it's kind of mixed, but I'm getting a lot of yeses here. 351 single turbo. <laughs> no. No. That would be an option later. But for now, I thought about just doing this. Like, literally, guys, take these can fields and just put them to the side for a little while. Maybe send them to the machine shop and get them checked out, and we can always throw those on the Retro Fox. I'll go ahead and tell you, one of the, one of the ideas that me and my dad have is to take the Retro Fox, put a 351 roller in it, uh, the Canfield 192s, a nice little healthy cam, and put the supercharger on that. So uh, that's, you know, of course, you know, leave regular fuel injection, just have to get a lower intake. Um, so that's an option that we're talking about maybe in the future because I, I can't keep buying cars. Like I'm running out of room. So we're going to have to start just, you know, uh, redoing some of the cars that we already have and changing them up. And it's like I've always, I've always told you guys, these cars are a blank canvas. They can change into morph into anything you want to, especially a hatchback car. They can become a Cobra, an LX, a GT, whatever you want. So. <clears throat> Make it like showroom stock. I would like to do that with the engine, like the way the engine looks. I'd like to do that. But the car obviously uh, is not going to be like, it's not going to look like that with the paint color and everything else. Um, why not doing a 427 with comp flap tappet and AFR? Uh, I don't want to deal with flat tappet cams. Um, I just, I'm just not into it, man. Um, uh, I don't know. What would, uh, what would your ideal scenario be for this build? Uh, that's a good question. Ideal, and, and we'll, we'll keep it I ain't gonna say budget friendly, but we'll keep it realistic here. Um, if, if I'm using what I've got already, do a fresh 306, um, probably an Anderson cam, Canfield 192s, and probably another supercharger with 373 gears, um, about a 2500 stall, and get this uh, AOD freshened up. That would probably be like my favorite build for this car. I think it'd be simple enough, um, but make good power. It'd be fun to drive. I have plenty of room. I promise you I don't have plenty of room. My dad's car is still sitting out there beside the shop. I have nowhere to put it. <laughs> JJ is completely out of room too, Nikki says. <laughs> A 5.4 Lightning Swap, man, we, ooh, Lord, them things, they just, they stick out. I don't care what hood you put on there, they're going to stick out. Now, do some 289 ported heads on a 302. Um, we have those. We actually have a set of heads. <laughs> we got some options, guys. <clears throat> you know, we could put, like, the SVE heads on the 289, take the 289 heads and put them on this motor. I mean, that'd be kind of cool. That'd be a little different because those are actually really good heads that are on the, uh, the gray ghost um let's see what do you got on the shelf to work with okay so that's that's a good that's a good question there so on the shelf what we have to work with is a trick flow stage one camshaft and canfield 192 cc heads uh what else we got some uh, a uh, explore ported explore upper and lower intake We've got injectors, you know, but I would just, I would run 19 pound injectors in it. Um, got some H pipes, X pipes over here that we can just pick from, you know, two and a half inch. Um, I think we have another set of 373 gears. I have a 3,500 stall for the car. So, you know, I mean, we've got some, we got some options. We got some stuff that we can work with. 306 freshened up. Yeah. 
Um, could you find an old BBK blower set up? Probably not. Uh, your crystals are looking pretty cool. They don't look like they did in the picture, but they look pretty cool. 351 based mild cam. So what do you guys think about doing a 351 Windsor and the Retro Fox? Now listen to me, let's understand first off that this will probably be like a stock bottom end 351. Maybe freshen it up, but uh, just put a set of heads on it and uh, turn the boost up a little bit. I mean, what do you guys think about that? I want it stock, you know, like stock-ish. So like when you pop the hood, I don't want it to look radical and fully built and all that. It's not really, I'm not into that. The only problem is we would lose our, our intake because as far as I know, is that the same design on a 351 truck intake? Is it the same design as the uh, the Mustang base? Do you guys know that? That's a good question, actually. <clears throat> Thumbs up, Buttercups. I appreciate you. Damn, did I get drafted, bro, to go fight the Russians? No. Uh, do a spare parts build. That's kind of what I was thinking about. I've got a bunch of E7 heads if we wanted to go that route, and we do have some other heads that we could use. I brutal. I just painted uh, Lindsay's car today in the garage, took Cedo black, and it turned out badass. Who needs a paint booth? That is freaking cool, man. So Mike Straminski hooked it up today, painted a car, took Cedo black, and he says that he doesn't need a paint booth. Man, look, guys, I, I have I have loved doing this series with the body work and all, um, to, just to read you guys' comments and things like that. And there's so many of you that are already doing this and that have done it before. And I just think it's so cool, man. I love seeing this. When I did the, uh, I think it was Children of the Fox video. I mentioned it one time before. As I was doing that video, I had asked for pictures from you guys. And I started to get a lot of pictures of, of people that were painting their own cars and doing stuff. Man, I saw driveway paint jobs that were just freaking killer. And it, it blew my mind because... You know, you're not aware of how many people are actually out there doing that. You, you think that there's not that many. There's actually a lot of people out there doing it. And it's badass. <clears throat> so, I like the stockish look myself. Uh, the light, well, the Lightning 351 Windsor was a GT40 um, setup. Yeah, GT40 lower, right? Correct on that, GT40 lower. So, there's the, the stock... Uh, 351 that was in the truck is not the same. Ba I'll keep looking over here. Let me just grab it. So the, the trucks don't have uh, that style lower intake, do they, on the 351s? Yeah, I know, I know I have to change the lower intake, but I was wanting to keep my upper intake if I ever did that. So I can't remember the style. Um, It may be. I don't know. You guys tell me if you know. Does the 351 out of the truck non-lightning have that? Gutted daily driver. <laughs> Throw all the dead weight away. <sighs> Man, I'd love to do something like that, but not with this car. This car is uh, is super clean. Nor the 302. Uh, what you saying, Ray? So I did get a, I did get a no here. Yeah, man, I'm bald now. I'm bald. Uh, what do you think about the Elderbrock Victor Jr. heads? Uh, would they be too much for a stock 302 bottom end? Nah, man, they're not too much. You can throw about whatever head you want to on that thing. If it's if it's a good running engine, it'll be all right. It'll it'll make power. I wouldn't worry about that. So 351 truck has square ports, so it doesn't have this. Huh? I just put that gasket on my car. <laughs> <clears throat> Track car build. Not out of this car, guys. Not out of this car. This car's got to be a, uh, a street car or else, uh, nah. So, no giveaways tonight. Um, yeah, not, not tonight. Hey, stop. Uh, let's see here. Uh, truck lowers float a lot of air. Car tech, yeah. I know that there's boxes out there for the truck lowers. I just couldn't remember what, what style it was. Anyway, all right, moving on because I, I'm getting sidetracked thinking about this. That's just an option that we have for the Retro Fox, though, is to uh, throw a Windsor in it, a 351. Uh, I believe the 351 has oval ports. Um, the 302 has the square ports, I know. Hmm. 
I agree. Show us uh, how the 351 swap one of these on the Russians in your neighborhood. <laughs> you can still use uh, the seat. All right, so you actually can't. So the GT40 style was only on the Lightnings. That's what I'm trying to figure out exactly. I'll look it up. It's no big deal. I just need to know for sure. What Anderson cam do I fancy? Um, I like the N41 and the B21. That's what's an Andrews car, and that little thing chops, man. I forget he's got a cam in that car all the time because I don't ever, he don't ever drive it much. I don't, I don't get to see it. So he started it up out here not too long ago, and I was like, what the hell is that? I forgot Andrew had put that cam in it. Um, pretty much, man, I'm going to be honest with you, most all of the Anderson cams, I mean, which I like. The only cam that I'll say that I wasn't uh, super fond of uh, was the Trick Flow Stage One, as far as sound goes. It just, you know, doesn't have doesn't have a lot of chop to it. Not like a B cam does. But I would highly recommend a Trick Flow Stage One camshaft for an AOD. Man, the Calypso ran phenomenal with that Trick Flow Stage One cam and the SVE heads and the stock AOD and four tens. Like it, it was actually a fun car, man. And I kind of missed that. Um, let me talk, let me ask, uh, one other thing, uh, Scotty says, love the haircut. I appreciate you, Scotty. Look at the cat. Oh yeah. Was it on my car? It better not be. No. We'll be, no, be missing, we'll be no, missing a cat. It. I was holding it right here. Uh oh. <laughs> See, man, uh, that always messing with me. Uh, hold on. What was I going to say? All right. So how would you guys feel about the possibility of T5 swapping this car? Um, all right, welcome Lewis to the Cobra package. I appreciate it so much, man. Well, how would you guys feel about that um, at some point? Like if I lose interest in this AOD, I, I love an AOD, I really do. But if it, if it starts giving me trouble, I'm scared, <laughs> I'm scared of what might happen. I'm scared I might pull this thing out. So how bad would you guys be pissed off if that happened? Uh, check out the Summit E Plus. Yeah, I saw the uh, the E Plus cam, and uh, I think Richard Holdner did a uh, a dyno on that. Little cam made some made some decent power. World class T5 all the way. Hell yeah, do it, bro! I posted the video on Facebook uh, in the comments of your last bodywork video upload. Check it out. And let me know what you think. Oh, okay. <clears throat> you know I'm horrible with Facebook and Instagram and all, but I'll check you out, Mike. I want an AOD, uh, anyone want a five-speed swap me? Whoa. Well, hmm. look at that. So I guess, <laughs> dude, that's, that's a pretty good deal. Like you never get that deal. So John Doe says that he would uh, swap his T5 for an AOD. Wow, somebody jump on that. Um, old school head cam and intake build and yes on the T5, Ray says. Okay. I've got the TFS stage one top end kit. Gets down uh, pretty good. Mike Straminski, thank you so much. <laughs> he says down payment for the AOD on AOD. <laughs> um, let me think. So, it, all right. So let me ask you this. In, does Have any of you had a built AOD with a stall? And how did you like it? What was your stall combination? What was your gear ratio? And how did you like that AOD in your Fox? Uh, I've never had a like a built AOD or one with a stall. I've had many cars with stalls, but I've just not had an AOD. So like, what was your combination and how did it run? Did you like it? Because I, I would not mind doing something like a small 2800 stall, something like that in the car with a set of 373s and something very, very mild. <laughs> Put a whale tail on it. So I actually have a um, <clears throat> a Celine spoiler that uh, actually Mike hooked me up with. Wasn't it? Wasn't it you, Mike? I think it was. Dominator body kit. Um, would switching the carburetor be a bad idea? Tired of fooling with this thing? No, Randy. Absolutely not. Swapping to a carburetor will be a great idea. Save your your harness and stuff. Just unplug you know, the injector harness, zip tie, you know, the regular harness up out of the way. And uh, you can run your stock distributor if you would like. You just have to power time it because it won't advance. 
and uh, you don't actually have to cut anything on the car. <clears throat> Leave the AOD until, uh, so the issue I'm having, I'm not sure this car is going into overdrive, which is not running right either. It's running better. So I'm worried that this thing is not going into overdrive. I do have another AOD that come out of the clip so that we could go grab. I just, I know me, as long as it gives me no trouble, I will love it. But as soon as this thing gives me trouble, I want to snatch it out and put a T5 in it. I, I feel like that's, what's power timing? So power timing is basically just locking your timing out. So go ahead and advancing it to 32 degrees or whatever the case may be. Um, that's all that is. Now, uh, don't, don't get confused. I just want to say this because I, I, I could see to where it could confuse some people. Don't um, get confused as to like when we set our base timing on our cars, remember we pull the spout out so it's not advancing anymore. So when you pull that spout out and you're advancing it to 14 degrees, that's not actually the timing that the car will be idling at. It'll actually advance. As soon as you plug that, that chip back in, you're actually idling way more. I can't even remember what it is. It's in the 20s though, uh, typically high 18s, 20s, something like that with these cars idle, uh, timing wise anyway. So going to like 32 degrees total timing usually is not that big of a deal on, as far as like hot starts and things like that. Uh, Something about that five speed, you just feel connected. Yeah, I do. If I could get this car to run really good, and uh, I, what I'm saying is just run good and without, without any issues, I think I could really get into the AOD thing as an option. Now, I wouldn't want an AOD as my only Fox, me personally. But, you know, I mean, we've got two other five speed cars. Okay, so let's, let's listen to what Jerry has to say here. He says that I have an AOD, 14 gears, 3,500 stall with a Wolverine 1087 cam. Hey, Jerry, if you ever want to sell that cam, you holler at your boy, by the way. Um, let's see, putting the finishing touches on it. Uh, recommended combo, ready for the summer. So that's very similar to what the uh, Calypso was. 3,500 stall. So you like the 3,500 stall with four tens. We have one, so I don't know, guys. We might try. I mean, what would it hurt to throw the 3,500 stall in it? And you know what? I'm just, I don't know why I'm even asking this question. I know what I'm going to do. It's like the more we talk, the more I'm like, oh, a stall, you know, heads. I, we already know where we're going to go with this thing. We won't leave it stock. Let's just be honest. I mean, we're car guys. <laughs> the chances of this thing staying stock it ain't going to happen. But I would like to keep it very streetable regardless. Uh, C4 guy here, tried a couple, uh, oh, AOD trans and failed. Had no problem with a good built C4. So we do have a C4, but I, I don't, I personally don't want to do the C4 because I want to take this car to Tennessee to Ford takeover if I want to drive it there or just wherever. So I, I'm definitely leaving, uh, some type of overdrive in this car. Now with the Calypso, you know, we could go back to a C4 at some point. Uh, we could go get this thing built and do that. I have no issue with that whatsoever. But this particular car, I definitely want a, a good driver. And I know, you know, you leave a 273 in it with a C4 and you can go anywhere you want to. Uh, so I like the C4. Also, I want an automatic. Let's see. Uh, to me, auto trans are fun. Um, and not fun ain't worth... Okay, so <laughs> I'm sorry. It's hard to read. To me, uh, autos aren't fun and no fun uh, worth my time. So, I get it. I do understand. Uh, automatics are not the most fun car to drive, but I think a lot of people have never driven like a good solid roller cam set up with a freaking power glide or built C4 or something like that or turbo 350 or 400 uh, with gear in it, like a, a badass in a car. That is something to experience, guys. If you've never experienced that with a, a manual valve body car, oh, it's fun. It's very fun. Um, but I do I do agree, you know, just a, just a boring stock AOD isn't the most fun thing to drive, but it's also nice sometimes. My truck isn't fun to drive, but that's what I choose to get in every morning to go to work. So I get more use out of it. Uh, sounds like you just need to do, to do most of the build with what you have laying around. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I don't want to go out and buy any heads. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. 
Uh, I don't own a set of GT40 heads, therefore I'm not going to put GT40 heads on it because I'm not going to buy any uh, when I have Canfields and I have stock heads. So that's kind of an in-between. And uh, if I had a set, that's probably what we would do. We'd probably put some three bars on it, clean them up a little bit, and uh, do a GT40 upper and lower intake and probably an Anderson cam or, or either the Trick Flow Stage 1. I think that'd be a good little setup. What John Doe says is right. Um, oh, we got four Matt 77 in the house. I ain't even seen him. What's up, everybody? Yeah, what have you missed? So we are talking about potential builds for the uh, Project Fox and what to do with it. You know, basically asking you guys, what do you want to see on the channel? Do you want to see something different? You know, a different build? More like a stock car? You know, you know I'm going to put a cam in it. I mean, we're going to have a cam in it. We cam everything. But uh, it basically just be a stock car, possibly, or either we do 306 with what we already have. This engine's fresh from the machine shop. Go s probably send those can fields to the machine shop too to make sure that they're good, because I do worry about those a little bit. Make sure they're good, throw them on here. Uh, Trick Flow Stage 1 camshaft or probably an Anderson B41 or uh, N41. Uh, 373 gears. Possibly a 2,500, 20, 2,800 stall somewhere in there. That's basically the, probably the other option. I spent a trip to pull apart. <laughs> um, let's see. I may take you up on the offer on the cam. Yeah. Uh, I have the manual valve body in, a, in my AOD. Oh, so you have a manual valve body in your AOD. Yes, yes, yes. And, and that's where, that's right. That's what he's saying. That's where the fun is, is with a manual AOD or a manual valve body in an automatic. Yeah, Jerry, seriously, man, uh, on that camshaft, uh, you can email me at brutalvlogs at gmail.com if you decide you want to sell that cam. And uh, if I got the cash, I'll go ahead and take that one off your hands. Uh, Andrew will actually probably be the one to buy it. Uh, I love those cams. They're just, they're kind of hard to come by. And I mean, I know that it's not the best cam out there and there's better cams. I get all that stuff, but just the nostalgic part of it for me, man. Uh, I had a, a buddy of mine and there's probably a couple people in the chat tonight that, that actually know the car I'm talking about. But a uh, buddy of mine, Eric, had a 1087 in his white coupe. And that thing sounded so good, man. Stroke 351 to a 408. That would be cool. Uh, if I had a couch in my shop, I'd probably move into the shop, Jesse says. I want something that will light the tires up when I want to. Yeah, I, I understand it. I just don't know if that's what I want with this car. You know, you have to ask yourself at some point, you know, what's the purpose of this car to, to be, you know, heads cam intake type, type build when we have these other two cars? I mean, I'm not saying that more power isn't fun. I'm not saying that, but there are also a lot of times you get complications that come along with that. You guys know what I'm talking about. A good, nice stock build, like a maybe with just a little cam, some exhaust, some gears, and things like that. Man, those those cars are reliable and fun. Uh, what's John talking about? If you need to see C4, uh, I have a, a PA Super Comp for sale. How much you want for that Super Comp, man? I have a, a, a TFS Stage One cam in my 302. And I'm not disappointed. I think it's a decent cam. Yeah, it is. It's a it's a very good cam as far as like performance wise. I think it's a good cam, man. I really do, especially in, in like kind of like a mild build. Uh, I just wish it hit a little harder. That's all. Some do and some don't. It all depends. You know, we've done videos where you know I've showed you guys that a B cam can can beat. I mean, a B cam can hit for what it is. Or you could just slap that thing in there and poke and hope, and it really not hit that hard. I've heard some B-cams that, that don't hit. Ford Matt 77 in the house, really feeling a very streetable build, but it's got to still run really good, though. That's that, exactly what I'm trying to say, Matt, right there. So let's, let's read this again. Really feeling a very streetable build, but it's got to still run really good, though. I don't like it to get left in the dust. That's... <sighs> kind of where I'm at with this in, in a sense unless we go with just bone stock bone stock is cool for what it is but if you're going to do anything especially in my situation I might as well utilize what I've got 
We do have those heads that are on the car currently. Um, I think with a gear and a little bit of stall and a small cam, I think it will be a, a very good build. So let's go over this again, all right? So here's a possible build, because you guys have basically been telling me to use the parts that I have. All right, here it is. <clears throat> 306 Canfield 192cc heads, Trick Flow Stage 1 camshaft, 373 gears, 3500 stall, because that's what we have, GT40 upper lower intake, headers, and an X pipe. Tell me what you think. I think that's a good build. Is that something you guys would like to see? Um, fat, what was it? Fat Boy Fox says, uh, would you do a, a F cam? Probably not in this car, but I do love an F cam. I love, I had an F cam in Blue Mica, actually. You guys like that? That sounds, okay. I think that sounds pretty good. That sounds reasonable. So the, hell, I'm trying to think. Really, I don't think we have to buy anything. This this AOD may have to get rebuilt, or either we'll just go get the one that's at my dad's house. So that may have to happen. I like it. I like it, guys. So we'll we'll paint the intake up, make it look you know nice. Ah, I know what we can do. How about we color match the intake and the valve covers to the color of the car? How about that? So let me go over here and grab this just for reference. So I think that'd be pretty cool. We uh, cleaned up the GT40 intake, the Explorer intake, painted it like this, painted the valve covers, make the engine super clean with the can fields. I think that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Lewis says it sounds nice, maybe a little nitrous. Safe rebuild AOD. Yeah, um, I gotta find somebody to, uh, to build it for me or rebuild it. Sounds like a nice street car combo. So you guys agree? 19 pound injectors, just so you know. Uh, you don't need anything bigger than a 19 pound injector for anything like that. Um, it's not gonna be necessary. So, and I like the 19s. I like the way the 19 pound injectors uh, are, they're, they're, they're very consistent. Like I, my airflow readings and all just seem to be more consistent with the, with the uh, 19s. I like the way the car runs. I don't have surging and, and issues with, with, I mean, you can run a stock mass air meter and 19 pounds, like that's a great combination. You know those things work together. And remember, uh, you know, when you go to a calibrated mass air meter and say like 24 pound injectors, that's just essentially tricking the computer anyway. Uh, they work, they work, but nothing in my opinion works better than 19 pound injectors with 19 pound stock mass air meter unless you're gonna go get a custom tune. Yes, so everybody likes color match. Okay, cool. With a black block. Well, <laughs> it's probably gonna stay blue because it's already blue, so that, that won't really matter. Um, are the tubes in the Performance GT40 bigger than an Explorer intake? Are the tubes in the GT? Oh, 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 oh. I got you. Um, no, I think they're the same dimensions. Uh, somebody else may can clarify that, but I, I, the GT40 intake may flow a little better. I think the biggest uh, advantage from the GT40 tubular intake was uh, just uh, dissipating heat a little bit better. Uh, I don't think they actually outflowed the uh, Explorer intakes by much. Yeah, it's a regular guy's build, two-tone. No, we're not gonna do two-tone on this car, uh, not as of right now anyway. I mean, we may paint it and decide that it, it needs to be two-toned. But as of right now, we're just gonna go solid carbonized gray right here. I think it's gonna look sick. I, I, I hope so anyway, I don't know. So they're the same, yeah. Uh, is an Explorer motor basically a 93, 94, 95 Cobra motor without the cam? Um, not really. It's it's not i mean the heads yeah but i mean i guess you could say i guess yeah in a sense i guess you could say that you could because the the intakes are similar they just they look a little different but they flow about the same the heads are going to flow about the same um so yeah i guess you could say that but the bottom end is hyperuretic pistons so uh, i do have a question were the 93 cobra forged pistons or were those hyper hyperuretic as well hyper eutectic whatever Two-tone with black. You know, we could, 
<laughs> we could do this on the bottom and do tuxedo black on top. Uh, basically make a copy of Andrew's car. Oops. And your rims are staying the same color or color match. Good question, Robert. Um, I have considered taking the 03 um, Cobra wheels, the black ones up there, and possibly color matching them to the car just to something different. Do like black lug nuts, the black center caps. Uh, so we'll see on that. But I, I know for sure I'm going to repaint those wheels because they're a little dull. So we're just going to do a fresh repaint in black, possibly gray. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we take the black 03 Cobra wheels and paint them the gray to match just to be different and do black lug nuts maybe, something like that? So the 93 Cobra was uh, hyper as well. Okay, thank y'all. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I, I do. I do think they're hyper. So yeah, it's basically essentially a 93 Cobra motor, if you will, depending on how you look at it. Yeah, they. I knew that they had started the um, the hyper eutectic uh, in what 93, 92, 93, but I did. I couldn't remember if the Cobra was forged or not. Let's see, bronze or gold wheels will look great. So we have the gold wheels that are on the Calypso that I do think will look really good on this car. So you know we're gonna experiment with some wheels once we paint this thing. Uh, I think the gold wheels would look really good on it and I do think that the 03 Cobras are gonna probably look the best. <coughs> Ooh, whoa, Timothy, I'm sorry. I, I misread what you said. Put the gray Salines on it. Yeah, we'll definitely put those on there and see what it looks like. But you gave me an idea. What about five lug swapping the car with a set of gray painted to match 18 inch Celine wheels on the car? I think that would actually be pretty sick. That'd set that car apart from most other ones. Gunmetal. I really love bronze wheels. Powder coat the wheels. I'm not gonna powder coat the wheels. I'm gonna paint them. If you guys don't know, um, man, look, powder coat these days, Half the jobs, half half the powder coat that comes on these wheels will chip and scratch just like regular paint. I would much rather paint my wheels and know what I have. Uh, so yeah, I'm not all into the powder coating wheels anymore, man. I've, I've been so disappointed in the quality of a lot of this powder coat nowadays. I'm beginning to wonder if they don't literally just freaking spray paint them. <laughs> Timothy said it gave me chills. The anniversary wheels, eh. Yeah, they probably look all right on there. Gold rims against that color will look nice. I think so too, man. That would be sweet. So, uh, you know, you can usually pick up the white 18-inch Celine wheels pretty cheap. Like, you can get them kind of discounted, if you will. Obviously, stagger, 10-inch in the back. Um, hell, just for good measure, you could throw the white ones on, see how they look. I mean, you know, probably wouldn't look the best. And then from there, decide whether you want to go with like a black, a gloss black, or color match. We'd have, to do, we'd have to do a break upgrade though. That's the only thing. If you're gonna put the Celines on there, the 18 inch Celines because they're so open. You see you guys are getting me into some money. See, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I'm just hanging out with my buddies and we're just spending money. That's about what's fixing to happen. So we gotta stop. <laughs> Chrome billet specialty street lights will be sick. I had a set of uh, billet specialties on my 03 Cobra and I'm Um, you need more cars for the wheels you have. Yeah, I know, right? Listen, five lug swap, put the bronze SVE series. Yeah, those will look pretty good. I, if I do anything though, man, I'll probably go like different, different, like with some, what some people may consider like an import wheel or a tuner wheel. I mean, guys, they got some nice looking wheels with that. So may do something a little more custom, I guess is what I'm trying to say or either probably gonna be 18-inch uh, Celines. That's been something that I've, I've, I've thought a lot about. For right now, though, we're gonna put the 03 Cobra wheels on it. And it's weird because the 18-inch Celine wheels that we have, the, the SC wheels, were the wheel that I thought was always gonna go on that car. I like them. I do like the wheels. They look awesome on the Calypso, but, well, you guys can't see it, but they don't, they don't look great on all cars. I'm finding out. Ooh, CCW, classic paint match, Mike J. Ooh, yeah, if I had the money, we could go with some knockoffs. 
Okay, I agree with Jay. Uh, I have a basically stock 93 LX hatch. Uh, five lug swap with 99 V6 15s. <laughs> Bright silver paint, uh, close to pony wheel color. Okay, so let me let me ask you guys, what do you think the the pony wheels are going to look like on the on this color right here? I don't think it's. I may have jumped the gun on the 17 inch ponies. I just don't think it's going to do this color any justice if I'm, if I'm being honest. But I, I do think that the pony wheels will look pretty good on the Retro Fox, so we may do that. Another option is that we paint the pony wheels to match, just to be different. What about doing, um, so June 88, we have 17 inch pony wheels. That's what those are right there. Uh, I don't know. Oh, you're asking what about the, yeah. Oh, you're saying chrome pony wheels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not buying any more 17 inch pony wheels. Those things are expensive. Um, what is it like to drive in traffic with a B cam or any cam with a T5? How is drivability? Mind's eye, that's actually a pretty good question. It all depends on the tune on the car. Um, <clears throat> a B cam is usually not that bad. If you've, and I'm assuming that you're not gonna have a custom tune. If you want to put a cam in your car, make sure you do your base idle reset. I don't care what anybody says. The base idle reset works, and it will help smooth your car out uh, because there again, so many times somebody's messed with a throttle blade or something like that, and they've got the idle all jacked up, the TPS is off. So do your base idle reset. Um, you need gear in the car. I think this is something that's often overlooked. If you're going to be running, especially a B cam, because this has got a decent amount of duration in it, and it doesn't have a lot of low end power, a lot of low end torque. Uh, make sure you got a gear in the car. 273 gears with a B303 cam will make you want to sell your car. Uh, it's horrible. But 327, 355, 373, 410 will make life so much easier for you. But it's not bad. Um, the, the issue is not stop and go traffic so much that you'll run into an issue with a cammed car. It's like, trying to ease in a parking lot or ease around a neighborhood. It wants to like buck and snatch. Pretty head, I know. <laughs> Thank you, Jimbo. Chrome ponies would look really good, but I think I want to go for more of a sinister look on this car. Just so you guys know, I'm not going for a factory look on this car. Uh, I know it may, know it may seem like it because I mean, these cars came in gray and to you guys that may just look like a regular old gray. But I can promise you that, that, that this thing's got a lot of transition and a lot of pop to it. So I'm really hoping, if this works out, that this thing really pops and looks not stock, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So we'll have the hood. The car will be slammed, as I do with all of them. Um, and I want a nice set of black wheels for this thing. I think it'll look, I think it'll look pretty sinister, man, pretty sick. The, ponies, the pony wheels just are going to give it too much of a stock look, I think. <laughs> B Worm says 273s in general will make you want to sell your car. Yeah. RPM tube intake, meanest cam, all motor setup. Um, you can with heads and gears. Daily eighth mile car. Hmm. What are you asking, Michael? Uh, RPM tube intake, meanest cam, all motor setup. You can with heads and gears. I mean, if you're asking, I mean, yeah, that would be actually pretty cool. I like the RPM2 intakes. Uh, any paint brands to avoid? Not really that I've run across. Uh, I've, I've saw some stuff uh, on other channels. Uh, Advantage, I think, is a, is a company that a lot of people are fussing about. But um, no, nah, man, I pretty much use whatever I can get my hands on. Now, this is, depending on what you want to do, like if you want your color to really pop, Metal Lux is a really good brand. Um, they... Their pearls and all that they use and everything is really good. What's up? Food ready. What are we eating? Steak, I think. Steak? I'm, we too, we too poor for steak. We ain't eating steak. Hmm? Mom already made it. She and broccoli. It. She made it. Okay. All right. I think it was steak. Uh, it's not steak, baby. All right. I'll be in there in a minute. But yeah, she made broccoli. Hold on. Show everybody your hands. Look, look at this. is the crap I got to deal with. Bye. Look at this. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Um, what about the first gen RPM? Ooh, boy. 
That first gen RPM, I'm not really a big fan of that. Family's over here. Um, if I'm not mistaken, isn't that the one with the, the uh, that had the little flat round uh, plaque in the center of it that you had to freaking? Oh, that's the one you had to open up and change the bolts to the inside of the intake, wasn't it? Those things. <laughs> if that's one, I get them confused. Performer, was it the performer RPM? What, what was that? <laughs> You scared that baby. She thought she was in trouble. You ain't scaring that child. Trust me. Uh, thanks for that info. You're welcome, man. Daily driver stock displacement with Ford's internal nitrous kit. Man, you guys want to? <laughs> you guys want to see a nitrous car, don't you? Yeah. How do you feel about convertible Fox bodies? And would I ever do one? Okay. So this topic gets brought up a lot. I think a lot of people just assume I don't like the convertible Fox bodies, they're not my first choice by any means. I don't like, I don't like the tops on them. And I say this all the time. That's my biggest beef with them. I don't like the way the top sits and meets up with the body of the car. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. It's probably silly. You guys are probably like, what? <laughs> I don't like the way it, it mounts to the, it doesn't flow with the car. It sticks up above the body of the car. So I'm not a big fan of that. But, but with that being said, man, you about can't beat a convertible triple black Fox body with a styling bar lowered on some wheels or a white one. Really any of them with a styling bar and the top down. So I, I'm not going to say I wouldn't ever have, I wouldn't ever own one. If I've got a good deal on one, I probably would because I've got a couple like ideas in mind of how I'd like for it to look. Let's <laughs> see everybody's with the nitrous. Ah, man. I don't know. Okay, I'll, I will, I will. Do this. I will promise you guys that I will look into a nitrous setup. Just just to look and see. I just don't know when I would ever use it. Like it just I'm, I'm just man, I'm the type that I want to I want to spray it when I go to the service station. When I go to the grocery store to pick up bread, I'm gonna want to spray this thing. Like every time I get in it, I, I want to feel it. I just don't know if nitrous would be a good good combo for us. What's up, Mr. Clean? Yeah, man, I shaved my head. I uh, had a little slip up with the uh, clippers and I mean, it wasn't a big deal, but I just was like, screw it. I used to do that all the time. I've always had different hairstyles and there's a couple people on here that, that have known me from way back in the day and they can tell you I've always done stuff like that. Um, there's a channel for each car. Uh, this is a hatchback group. <laughs> well... Hold on now. I'm not going to say that. I would have a coupe. I would own a coupe if I could find one cheap enough, but I don't want to pay the money for a coupe. Nitrous for the drag strip. I know so many of you guys want me to go to the drag, to the, to the track, uh, and we will eventually get the Calypso there. Um, we do have some things in the works for the Calypso, though. I guess I could go ahead and give you guys a little hint there. We're going to up the power on the Calypso. Do the fuel system, change the clutch, and then try to go to the track. Um, let's see. So Manny three hundred two says, "Brutal, you ever planning on maybe working on uh, some of our cars later on? Pretty hard to find someone to work on these cars that won't jack them up." Uh, Manny, not at, not at this at this point, man. I, I'm actually supposed to be out here putting a, a fuel pump uh, <laughs> in the project Fox because it went out on me. Um, yeah, but I was like, yeah, let's do a live stream. But man, I stay so busy between work and everything else. Um, I would love to do that. Like Fox body only stuff, of course, you know, I'd love to do that. But at the same time, I just don't want the responsibility. I don't want the liability. If I'm being honest with you, that's scary. I'm the type of guy that I want to go to sleep at night. When I lay my head down, I don't want to have any regrets for the day or any worries. Right. In other words, if. If I screw my car up, I can still sleep at night. It's not a big deal. If I screw one of your cars up, I have to fix that. I mean, I'm, yeah, I have to come out of my pocket or either, besides that, say, say the build does good, it goes great, you guys get the car, I'm still going to worry for a year straight if the car is going to give you any trouble or anything like that. So, you know, short of like just doing some like minor stuff to your car, man, I probably would never get into that. Treetop Tom, thank you so much, man. Love being here, man. I got my intake fix thanks to you and Neo. Nice. Good deal, man. 
Glad to hear. Coop with fat radials on the back. Mm, yeah, I shaved my head. <laughs> he said he shaved his head like bull from night court. <laughs> that is hilarious, man. Bull, bull was a freaking trip, bro. <laughs> I can just picture it. Uh, stock 5.0 with 190cc uh, heads, TFS stage one cam. Um, would a Super Victor be okay with this combo? Yeah. Yeah. I, I actually really... Now, I love the Super Victor. I just like the way it looks. And short runners, though, you know, high RPM stuff. That Stage 1 camshaft is not going to match up with the Super Victor, if I'm just being honest. But it, things don't always have to match up. And what I'm saying by that... Now, if you're going for dyno numbers or you're going for, you know, the best track time that you can get... Sure, I mean, things need to kind of match up. But for a street car, you might not ever notice it. Um, I say if that's the combo you want, go with it. I think you'll be fine. It won't pull as hard as what it would if you had a, a, a bigger camshaft, but it'd be fine. Oh, uh, let's see. Trying to look like me, huh? Yeah, I know, Ray. <clears throat> Ray, tell him. I used to only have a shave. Man, I kept a shave head for years and years and years. Ray's just been bald. Ain't had no hair since high school, so that's why he's been bald. Um, I have a car that I would let you build. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, guys, I just don't want to get into anything like that. Uh, you can imagine. I know some of you guys own shops and do things like that. I, I get it, but I couldn't do it, man. I don't want that liability on me. Treetop Tom again, $5. Thank you so much. Food's getting cold. Um, <laughs> you go about to nuke it. Yeah. So I am. I'm, I'm about to go in here and eat. <clears throat> Ray says that he ain't got no choice. So um, disc brake swap six piston. Yeah, we might do. We might do that. I think we're gonna do. We're gonna take a different approach. I, let me back up before I stick my foot in my mouth here. I want to attempt to do some of the things to this car that you guys like. You like five lug conversions. You like disc brakes. Subframe connectors. I'm just not, I'm not big on all that stuff. <clears throat> it just doesn't, it doesn't add anything uh, for me. But I do like the way the brakes look behind a set of uh, 18 inch lean wheels or something. So, you know, it kind of benefits both of us here. So we're de we'll, we'll definitely cover that. So I, I do want to know this. If we did a five lug uh, conversion, how would you guys prefer me go about it? Like SVO rotors, Ranger axles, or what? You know, how would you recommend that we go about it? Timothy says, thanks for all the vids. You're welcome, man, anytime. Mike, we're all getting old. Uh, keeps the, the keep sponsors to see this. <laughs> Going outside the box, uh, better get some clear one-piece headlights. <laughs> Sam said, I actually got a set over here that we still had to set fire to. Uh, yeah, man, was that background noise? Dude, who knows? Some squatted truck and a ricer coming by or something's what it sounded like. <laughs> Cadillac brakes. So you guys would like to see me do the Cadillac brakes. Is that something that, that you'd like? I've only seen it. I've seen some people... I think uh, Stang Domination did it, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, we might could do that. Junkyard swap with front suspension and axles. Or spindles, I got you. So you guys, man, the, the, the junkyard swaps are getting, I mean, hell, you can't find them anymore. Uh, we don't have any junkyards around here anymore. <clears throat> I, I'll say this, if somebody has a set of 94, 95 spindles that they want to sell, if it's reasonable, I mean, I may go ahead and, and buy those. <coughs> Squatted truck, truck with a generator on the back. Mm, yep, I thought Stang Domination did that. <laughs> you guys want to hear this? Hold on. Let me open up the window so you can hear all that out there. I just heard a fart can start up. Hit that like button. Yeah, man, you can't find anything. Nothing these days. Well, all right, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. My food's getting cold. <clears throat> What's going on, man? 
Um, so you guys really helped me out a lot tonight. I know it didn't seem like it, but you did. I think I got a, a plan for the car. So appreciate it, guys. If you watched, you know what it is. If you didn't, go back, check out the video, and I pretty much explain, I think, what I'm going to do with the car. So thank you, Lewis. Appreciate it, everybody. <laughs> All right. Catch y'all on the next one. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>